friends welcome to my workplace at ranaghat west bengal india rex is ran out in this case let us observe how it happened and how the case was managed this is the main incision with a 2.8 mm steel keratome you can see this is a posterior subcapsular cataract with very soft nucleus the anti chamber is filled up with 2% hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose and now a side port is made on the left side of the main incision about 2.5 clock hours away and now some more visco is applied over the ocular surface over the corneal epithelium for better visibility the microscope being used is topcon oms 800 this is a uterta forceps i tear off the anti capsule raise attack go anti clockwise now here some amount of visco came out and the chamber became shallow and from this point it tends to go to periphery and here it goes at 2 o'clock it has gone to far periphery and i could not retrieve it so what next what should we do now inject some visco take a vana scissor go through the main wound and start rexis from the other side just cut the capsule here and hold this tag go clockwise and complete the rexis so there is a weak point at 2 o'clock there is extension to up to the equator probably we can complete the case we can proceed with phaco because the nucleus is soft we don't have to exert lot of pressure on the posterior capsule to manage this in a minute or so this nucleus can be managed so i did hydrodissection hydrodelineation and now i go in with out 400 vacuum 40 fluorite and 50% ultrasonic energy and i just start aspirating the lens matter the nucleus is very soft just by vacuum it came to the tip and i applied little bit of ultrasonic energy and i could emulsify the lens matter very easily this is epinucleus it has also come so within a minute the nucleus epinucleus has been managed so if the nucleus if the nucleus is soft as in this case we can definitely proceed with phaco there is no danger and now i'm going to aspirate the cortical matter the cortex with this 23g simco cannula i have made only one side port and simco cannula i don't have to exert a lot of pressure on the posterior capsule but if i use bimanual irrigation aspiration the fluid will exert more pressure on the posterior capsule and there is a possibility of extension of the rexis posteriorly so everything is okay now and i have to implant the intraocular lens in this case we have selected a hydrophobic acrylic single piece monofocal aspheric intraocular lens and i am going to implant the lens with a b cartridge so i enlarge the main wound and implant the lens in the capsular bag the leading haptic 
goes into the capsular bag. You turn the lens, the trailing haptic also goes in the capsular bag. And now I dial the lens and place the haptics 90 degree away from the weak point. 90 degree away from the point of Rex's extension. And now I use this 23G Simco to remove Visco by irrigation and aspiration from the anterior chamber. The haptic is in such a position that I cannot go behind the eye well with this. But I can go behind the eye well and irrigate the capsular bag going through the side port with bimanual irrigation aspiration. So I'm irrigating the bag and aspirating from above the lens and thus all the visco from the capsular bag was aspirated. So the visco has been nicely cleaned. Now both the irrigating cannula and aspirating cannula are in the capsule in the anterior chamber. And see the lens, it is very nicely centered. The anterior chamber is shallow at this moment, so I inject an air bubble to maintain the anterior chamber. This is a bit of moxie. And now the side port is closed hydrating corneal stroma on either side of this paracentesis wound and there is only one paracentesis incision in this case. And now a final lavage of the anterior chamber. The anterior chamber is lavaged very nicely and now I find that the haptics have shifted a bit. So I orient the lens and place the haptics about 90 degree away from the main wound, from the weak point. And now the antechamber is formed very nicely. Integrity of the wounds are checked. There should not be any leakage from any side. Few drops of moxie is applied and the case is concluded. Thank you very much for your attention. Hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills. So if there is rexis extension and if the nucleus is soft, we can proceed with FACO. Be a great surgeon and serve your patients with love, respect, empathy and great surgical competence.